YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here, and I am back in Total War Rome 2 with a uh, an online battle replay. This time it's going to be me as the Lusitani versus Syracuse. Um, and this is at the uh, Statue of Zeus at Olympia map, which is pretty cool looking. It's actually kind of a fun map, I think. Um, my opponent brought six Mercenary Campanian Cav, three Mercenary Hoplites, and I want to say... I can't remember if these guys are Thurios Spear... No, these are uh, uh, Thorax Hoplites, which are actually pretty strong as well. Pretty good unit for the price. Um, if you've watched my um, coverage of Syracuse, you'll see that these guys are a pretty, uh, pretty good unit. He's upgraded them too, which means they have 40 attacks. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty strong unit. I wonder why he didn't upgrade his general, though. Anyway, these Mercenary Campani cover a 69 attack cavalry with 80 armor and 90 health. Very capable in melee, especially against a sword faction that has non-formation attack swords, like the Lusitani. So it's a good thing I brought a few spear units. Let me show you my army. I brought four Balearic Slingers. Uh, no, yeah, four Balearic Slingers. I have two Scutarii Spearmen, which are kind of a decent spearman. Um, and then I have... Uh, I think four or five Iberian Swordsmen, two veteran Shield Warriors. Uh, these guys can beast pretty well in melee. And then I've got a Lusitani Noble, which is extremely beast in melee. Um, and I had two uh, Lusitani Gorilla Spear units that were hidden over here, but my opponent went to the opposite side of the map and blew that. So now I've just got to run them over there. And then I've got these two Iberian Cav, and then my other two Cav are Scutarii Cav. So the Lusitani do suffer in the cab department. They they don't have any um, shot cav, and they don't have any super heavy melee cav either. So you have to kind of use Lusitani spearmen to help make up for that. And they're not cheap, but they are capable. Um, it's just, you know, they're not cheap, so you got to be careful about how you use them. You definitely want to let your cab be supported by spears. And when I have six mercenary camp uh, campanian cab bearing down on me through the scrub, um, I'm definitely going to be concerned about my both my swordsmen and my cavalry. So right now I, I kind of started um, boxing off with my uh, spears to try and keep my opponent away from both my slingers and my swords, because he is not going to be afraid to just charge these Campanian Cav units into this um, melee un uh, unit here. They will do very well in that situation. I am going to get some slinger shots, but I'm um, not going to do a whole lot to a heavily armored cav unit like this. It'll help to maybe take off some HP, kill a few of them, but yeah, it's, it's not going to be... Uh, a dead, a death situation for him, really. And again, look, see how he starts to uh, refocus, and now he's going to try and bring his cab in from over here, which isn't a bad plan because all I can defend with are these two um, Iberian cav, and my Lusitani gorillas are still not quite on the scene, but he can't see them yet either. So I was actually kind of hoping that he would want to come here, so that I could then reinforce with these Lusitani nobles um, and take it that way. So what I'm going to do. And we'll see how this works for me. I'm going to go ahead and charge forward my light sword units. I don't expect them to win this fight, but I'm hoping they can cause some damage to these hoplites. So I go ahead and give some uh, attack orders with my light swords. I thought they would probably be um, cost effective, but the biggest problem is they don't have the formation attack. So they are still going to have a hard time lasting a long time in a fight, and my opponent does have kind of some overwhelming force in the center. However, I didn't support these guys properly, so now they're out of position, and look at this uh, Campanian Cabin Flying Wedge. It's going to come into the flank of this unit, get a pretty good hit, and you can see them start to drop. And then over here is Mercenary Campanian Cab just plowing into anything it can find, which fortunately for me is some Scutarii Spearmen with uh, uh, the bonus versus cab jacked up to 100. But even still, I mean, look, not losing men extremely fast here, and it's mixed up with Scutarii Cab and a very capable spear unit. I do manage to chase his units out, though, and uh, at this point, my opponent goes for my infantry here, which is fine. He mops up my um, my cheap sword infantry, which wasn't near as effective as I'd hoped it would be, but it did get some decent kills on some of his units. In fact, it did pretty darn well, um, all things considered. I'm trying to mop up as much of his Campanian cab as possible, and trying to also make sure my uh, slingers are still protected, so I'm going to try and keep the Scutarii Spearmen away from the melee fight. Um, the problem is, is I just I want to keep my uh, heavy swordsman safe from his mercenary campanian cab as well, because these guys definitely worry me. So I, you're gonna see me swing the spear unit. Um, I'm gonna s try and use it to keep his cab away. Uh, but right here, I'm gonna go ahead and charge my general forward, because his uh, campanian cab is not gonna get a really good charge. And my general is gonna go forward against all these hoplites, and then uh, I'm gonna reinforce with uh, veteran shield warriors here. 
And you can see one of his Campanian Cap going, and at this point my opponent gets really interested in my Skirmishers, so he's going to start sending all this Cab in after my Skirmishers, which is actually kind of crappy for me, but it's kind of good, because really his Cav should have come right here into the back of these expensive Sword units. If it would have, uh, this is pretty much game over. But his Cav gets caught up going after my Skirmishers, gets caught on Spears, and the Spears are going to, you know, kind of drive it away. Here he does do a little bit of a rear charge, um, and he's going to hurt these veteran shield warriors pretty good. But again, he turns around and gets focused on my uh, skirmishers. He really wants my skirmishers. I'm not really certain why he's terribly worried of my skirmishers, but he is. So I did use Headhunt on my Lusitani Nobles, and it has already got over 100 kills, and it's climbing fast. Um, these guys will just feast spear units, even heavy spear units, no problem. I mean, they're going to tear these guys apart. That's the kind of fight that they're going to just really excel at. And again, look at his um, his Cav getting my Skirmishers, which is good for him. But the whole time he's taking casualties from my Spearmen who are chasing him. And the whole time his infantry is being crumbled by my Veteran Shield Warriors and my uh, and my Lusitani Noble. Now he did take out one of my Veteran Shield Warrior units. But at this point my Lusitani Noble is up to 150 kills in climbing. And I have an Iberian Cav free over here. I've got one Campanian Cav uh, pinned down, and you know all this time he's using on my uh, Balearic Slingers is time that he's not supporting his infantry. Check it out, my Iberian Cav gets free. This is not going to be like a devastating charge, but it's going to hurt morale. These guys come through the scrub, and we're going to hit these uh, Hapotes in the back. And the morale below definitely lands. One of his units routes, and this Thorax Hoplite uh, drops down, and I'm just going to pull out and try and repeat. Lusitani Noble's now up to 200 kills, so just absolutely in beast mode. His Campanian Cab didn't get a good charge into them, so they're not going to go down fast. And his uh, Mercenary Veteran Hoplites here are getting wrapped up by Lusitani Gorillas and um, Veteran Shield Warriors who've racked up 100 and some odd kills too. Now the problem is, is he does have Campanian Cab left, but I have mostly Spear units left. So he did spend his time getting my Skirmishers, but it cost him. Because every time these guys get wrapped up with my uh, Spearmen, they lose a couple of men and run off and then lose some more HP. They're now exhausted. Look, they're like down inside the map. I've seen this happen some in the, uh, the recent patch. It must be must be a little bug that needs to be corrected. Yeah, now his infantry's dead. And he does, again, still has a fair amount of this Campanian Cav left. This one has two experienced Chevrons and is an 81 melee attack. Because it's in the Flying Wedge formation. Good grief. But uh, they're starting to suffer um, uh, morale penalties from... You know, the army losses, and they are going to rout. So an interesting army on the part of my opponent. These guys didn't rout. They came in for the charge. One last glory charge for Syracuse. Um, yeah, we'll, see. we'll go ahead and end the replay. But yeah, my opponent's army makes a lot of sense. I was going to bring a lot of swords. He was going to bring a lot of melee cab, which is capable against those swords. Fortunately for me, he spent a lot of time going after my slingers, which really weren't causing any damage because they're not good against his hoplites, and they're not good against his heavily armored cav. Um, so wasting that time on my slingers actually helped me. It makes, you know, a lot of people are really intent about getting to your skirmishers, and sometimes that's absolutely the right thing to do. In this case, it wasn't. Wrap up the infantry fight. Uh, my slingers don't pose a risk to any of your men unless you just turn your back to me and let me shoot at point-blank range. Uh, slingers are all right, but they're not really that good against hoplites. Um, but in any case, hope you all enjoyed this one. It was a fun one. Uh, like I said, I got caught a little bit off guard because of his, uh, his you know, pretty intelligent army selection here. I say intelligent, maybe some of you disagree, but, I mean, he was really trying to counterpick the faction that comes sword heavy, and I think it was a, a relatively um, good thought. In any case, Air of Carthage, signing off for now, and he, he got more kills than me too, just the fact that I brought 2,000 men that saved my hide. I'll see you later, YouTube.